And I was going to do but it. I know you were. I had the anti-serum, the shoe, everything. I just couldn't get the straps Fitz, on. please. And, you know, maybe I couldn't have done the whole James Bond and mid-air type of thing. shut up. Thing. Please, just... Ward did an amazing thing, yes. But it wasn't Ward by my side in that lab searching for a cure. It wasn't Ward giving me hope when I had none. It was you. Hmm. You're the hero. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, we need to hurry. We have to do this soon. There has to be enough oxygen. Oxygen to ignite, yes. OK. Now, when I press that power button... The window will blow in and water will rush in. What's yeah, which is going to be like 100 punches to the stomach. OK? The wind's going to be knocked right out of us. Now, this is near empty, but I've rigged it to let out a burst of very high pressure. It should force a breath into your lungs, but you have to hold on to it, OK? Hold on tight. Should be enough to get you up the 90 feet or so. One breath, but there's two of us. Yeah, I've done the math. That's why you're taking it. You're a better swimmer anyway. No. Gemma. No, I'm not leaving you here. That's ridiculous. We need a new plan. And we're not discussing it, OK? You're taking it. End of story. I couldn't live if you didn't. Well, I feel the same way. There has to be another way. You're taking why, it. Why would you make me do this? You're my best friend in the world. Yeah, and you're more than that, Gemma. I couldn't find the courage to tell you. So please. Let me show you. It's okay. Are you seriously mad at me? I'm mad at myself for roping you into this. It's not fair. And I'm mad that you're so willing to help. So, as opposed to what? What do you expect? I don't know. Get angry. I cannot fathom any way out of this without hurting someone I care about. Do you think that I'm not angry? I'm sick to my stomach. I'm furious, but not you. Because we're cursed. The bloody cosmos wants us to be apart. The cosmos doesn't want anything. Yeah, well, I beg to differ. Because we had years side by side, never occurred to us. And then when it does, we don't have the courage to talk about it. Well, you only mention it at the bottom of the sea facing... You wait till I'm bound for a war on an aircraft carrier and then you get swept off to some far-flung planet with him. Top marks, pilot, astronaut, hero man. I would do anything. Do you love him? I don't know, I think... Yes. Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. He's strong and smart, and you gave each other hope on the edge of nowhere. Don't do this, Fitz. You think I didn't look for dirt on him? I'm dead. And there's nothing. I can't hate him. He's great. Why else would you fall for him? He did everything right. And you dove through a hole in the universe for me!
cursed. Fitz, is that what I think it is? Temperature differential. Too similar. Brain biopsy? Too lethal. Dopamine levels? You think it drugs them? <sighs> I have no idea how to help them. We should be in the lab. Well, we're running every test that we can. One of these days we'll find something out in space that's magnificent, right? Not trying to infect us or kill us like Hive. What's Hive? Couldn't even get off a desert planet without us, so we'll sort them out. I just want to help our friends. I know. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I know everything is well and starting over. I didn't mean to push too fast. Too fast? Fitz, it's been ten years. We can't waste any more time. Really? Because I thought that... Really? And since we're cursed or whatever nonsense... Oh, I said that one time. Well, you and, and for the record, actually, today is more evidence that the cosmos is against us. I'm tired of seeing our friends ripped apart from each other. That can't happen to us again. I won't let it. Then we won't let it. Who needs space? Because I've got something magnificent right here. <laughs> A picture of space. <laughs> One of my prized possessions, that is. And I don't know why that okay. makes significance to me. Mm -hmm. Gemma? Where have you been? Looking for you. Oh, well, I've been here at the rendezvous point, like we discussed. What, Mac? In the Quinjet, unloading equipment. Well, I've got a lot to talk about. And made ready for the op. Yeah, we've got it covered. Uh, we could always use a fresh pair of eyes if you'd like to join us. Yeah, no. Stuff to do here. Okay. You know, one of the upsides of having a girlfriend is you get to talk about what's bothering you. Yeah, well, doesn't really sound like an upside for the girlfriend. I know you're upset about Ada. I'm in a strange position. I don't want to intrude on you while you're processing. But I also want you to know you can talk to me. Always. Yeah, I know. Just, uh, you know, I go quiet when I'm processing. Tell myself I don't care if Radcliffe knows my father, I'm over it, but maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm stuck in a loop. Radcliffe 
Ward, my dad. They're all the same, it keeps happening. I don't see it that way. Come on, Gemma. You know that it's true. Yes, they betrayed you. And after everything you've been through, no one would blame you if you put up your own firewall. But you didn't. Instead, you became the most open, loyal, caring person I've ever met. Maybe that's why it keeps happening. It's why I fell in love with you. Who you really are, that's not programming. It's something way beyond that. That's it. Jim. You're the best. earlier when Kisai said you hear it turned oh, of course you did. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I did. I'm never leaving your side again. Yeah, I feel the same way. That's why I asked you to marry me. I, uh, mm. doesn't matter. I don't know about you, but I could really use a drink right about now. I'm just happy for some alone time. <laughs> Maybe Deke's father will have some more information we can use. Until then, we are on our own. I guess we are. What happens if this dimension expands beyond the lighthouse? What if we've come all this way back and we can't stop it? Or what if we fall to a war? You know, the only thing that I truly fear is a life without you, and that's never going to happen. Do you promise? I promise. Okay. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today for a moment we all knew was coming. Some of us, even before these two did. And I think we can all agree that to wait even one second to do this is playing with fire. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> the ayes have it. So, all right. Time for the exchanging of the vows, I guess. See so you bride side or groom side? Uh, no, I'm both. I had to write it down. Fitz, I knew from the moment I saw you, from our first conversation about dielectric polarization, that you'd be in my life for a long time. But I didn't know you would be my life, my heart, my home. We joined this team for adventures and got more than we had hoped. I can't wait for our next adventure. Building a family together. My love for you grows deeper and always will. No matter where the universe takes us next. <laughs> Do you full cyborg or? Yeah, cool. Pigeon fits. Um, <clears throat> okay, um, I have been thinking about what to say. 
uh, just words don't really seem enough. I think that you are perfect. And, um, I don't deserve you, Gemma. I don't, I don't deserve you. And I'm well aware that I'm the luckiest man on any planet. Okay, let's have the rings. Quickly, please, before this forest collapses around us. Okay, Fitz, repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. Ivy wed. Ivy wed. So you got the rings, huh? It's a nice one. Turns out a lot of people pawn wedding rings. I had to find one that was going to be small enough for his little boy fingers. And then for hers, I found this ring that looks just like this one that my mom used to wear sometimes. It was my grandma's, I think. You got something? I don't know. Thinking Deke Shaw could possibly be an LMD. I ran a genetic profile to see if he was biologically linked to anyone. And it came up with a match? No. It came up with two. Now, by the powers vested in me, by, well, by the two of you, I'm so happy to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> so what about you? Bride or groom? Yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't really know either one of them. <laughs> Are you serious? What's it like down there? It's cold. Yeah. So did you guys go visit, like, on holiday? They have hotels, or is that like... Okay, so you know what? Just go, please, please just go, because you are giving me a headache. Well, I'm sorry that I have never seen an ocean before. Where I was born, you guys already blew up the planet. So thank you very much for your service. He never stops. It's like somebody let Scrappy do in here. Yeah, but you can't be so hard on him. We both know what it's like to be pulled into a strange world. Plus, he has exquisite taste in wedding rings. Can you believe that we're married? Wife. <laughs> I cannot, husband. Do you think we'll ever get used to it, husband? No, I do not, wife. Hey, I was thinking, we should hyphenate our last name, yeah? Uh, yeah, of course. Mr. and Mrs. Simmons Fitz. <laughs> Sounds great. Just yeah. rolls right off the tongue. Yeah, right off. I can fight! I think one of you no. should... We have a rule. We never leave each other's side anymore. I never got the honeymoon you dreamed of. Nonsense! I'm protecting England from evil robots with the man I love. Running low. I don't know what we were thinking. <sighs> I've imagined this since I was in prison and every day since, and I wanted to do it right, but now we're stuck in another prison, and I don't know if we'll ever be able to get out of it. No, hold on, hold on. Just, just, just let me say this. I've realized the universe can't stop us. 
Because we've survived the bottom of the Atlantic. We've crossed the galaxy more than once <laughs> just to be together. So a love like that is stronger than any curse. And you and I, we are We're unstoppable, unstoppable together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, which is why I can't live another day without you. So I'm asking you, heart in hand. Gemma Simmons, will you marry me? Absolutely. <laughs> oh. I have to admit, right now here with you, I don't give a damn if we ever escape. We're gonna have to face those things out there. <sighs> and we might actually die trying. <sighs> Unstoppable together? do that and we did yeah we did for years we had our happily ever after we knew our friends needed us not to mention mankind but we didn't want to say goodbye so we put it off but we couldn't stay forever but I'll feel the guilt inside. The guilt for having left. You won't a remember. part of me being torn away. It's okay. No, I don't want to forget. Hey, I don't hey, want to okay. forget. So we jumped back to the moment we left. Was quick. How'd that thing get here so fast? Oh, come on. Are you guys messing with time again? It's complicated. But Fitz needs to wait in here so he can be transported through the quantum realm to an alternative timeline. That doesn't sound complicated at all. While he's in there, you need to guard it with your life. Like there's nothing more important in the world. No, we get it. No, you don't. If you keep the safe, I will give you anything you ask for in return. Understand? Yeah. If I'm not back by sunup, open it. You'll know what to do. Okay, good to go. We're on the clock now. Gemma. For us, it will be an instant. One of us had to stay to establish the link between timelines. And it had to be me, because my mind couldn't handle the implant. 